Praise the Lord. Amen. It truly is. Lord, I want to thank you. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Lord has been good to us. Yes, Lord. Each yes, and every Lord. one of us. Every Amen. morning, it's good to remember that he's waking you up with brand new mercy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, brand new mercy. You got a brand new opportunity yes. to do better. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you. And we thank God for that. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That can give us some hope. Especially if you had a rough day the day before. <laughs> so we want to go before the Lord in prayer and remember men and women and children everywhere. Remember our bereaved families, those that are going through, uh, and those that are striving and endeavoring to do their best uh, in, in the sight of the Lord. And uh, let us remember our Christian ministries in a special way of our leadership and all those members yes. and those that are uh, coming into the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. So let us pray uh, one for another. Yes. Any other particular prayer requests? Pray for our Bible study on tonight. There's something to be said and done to encourage our hearts. Amen. We're competing now with the weather. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So let us pray um, that uh, the Lord will win out. Amen. Yes. Amen. So let us, uh, if there are any other prayer requests, uh, you can let it be known. My brother? Yes, I just pray that the Lord will continue to, uh, His will be done in my life. Yes. I pray that the Lord's will continue to be done here so we can minister. Yes. Um, pray a heavy protection over us, over the children. Pray that we stay yes. yep. and open. Yeah. Yes. Stay hungry. Thank you. All right. We'd like to ask the church to stand there. All right. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We just say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your grace, your mercy, your love that you've shown toward us. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless us and help us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you would bless our Bible study on tonight, that you would draw in our hearts and our minds and our spirit, that we would receive with meekness the engrafted word of God to the saving of our soul. And we pray, Lord, that you would bind every evil spirit, every demonic power that would come to hinder us. Hallelujah. And give us an open heart, an open mind, and an open spirit in the name of Jesus. And bless those that would be uh, tuning in yes. with us on today, Lord. We encourage them and send a word of prayer to them, yes. Lord, that you would continue to bless by your power and by your might. Yes. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you continue to help us here at Christian yes. Ministries. Yes. Help the body of Christ. Help us yes. to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You, help us to be about our Father's business. Yes. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. Bless our Bible study in Jesus' name. In Jesus amen, name. And amen. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I've always gotten excited and encouraged about Bible study, uh, about church in general. Thank you, Lord. But every time you get an opportunity to be exposed to the Word of God, amen, I often empty myself out and, and, and forget I know anything so that the Lord can give me something. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because when we perceive that we know some things, we don't leave room for opportunity of growth, opportunity of revelation, yes. amen, in the mind, amen. God's word is connected. It's connected. It connects. It connects. It's line on line, as the scripture says, precept on precept, amen. Here a little, there a little. <laughs> you don't get this overnight. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's designed that way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, the Bible talks about, it says, tribulation, work of patience. Patience, experience. Experience, hope. And it says, hope make it not a shame. Amen. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. So that tells us uh, sanctification and living holy is a process. Amen. Yeah. If you want to please God, you have to go through a process. Amen. Process. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. So as we get ready to go before the Lord uh, in the Word, I want you to turn with me to the
the book of St. Matthew, St. Matthew uh, chapter 13, St. Matthew chapter 13, amen? amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to talk tonight uh, dealing with sowing and cultivating a good seed for a heart. Sowing and cultivating a good seed for a heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And before I get into that, I'm going to ask, I'll ask a question. I'm not uh, necessarily uh, looking for a specific answer. You know, but uh, the Lord had me write down a couple questions. He wants me to ask the church, as the body of Christ, as Christian ministries, are you doing what God assigned you? <laughs> the Lord is, he's waiting, if you really think about it. Uh, are you doing what the Lord assigned you to do? And then, huh? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Thank you, Lord. Well, you can know. You can know. The scriptures let us to know that we can know. And then, you know, what what has the Lord assigned you to do? What has he given you to do? Amen. And a lot of people uh, would really talk about it if we were to really get into that, that answer. A lot of people would first think about, well, am I, am I preaching? Am I teaching? You know, uh, am, I, am I doing things around the, the household of faith? But that's not what he's talking about. But that's not really what the Lord assigned you. You know, his, his true assignment for you is to be a witness. Mm -hmm. uh, to witness to others, to bring them into the kingdom of God. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. When he gives us the Holy Ghost, when he gives us the Spirit, uh, he says, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come, has come upon you. Then he says, ye shall be witnesses unto me. Yeah. Amen? So let me ask you then in that question in another frame. Have you witnessed to anybody today? Have you yeah. told anybody about Jesus yeah. and about the plan of Christ? That God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the things that he wants to, us to be about. He said the harvest is what? Plenty. Plenty. Uh, but the laborers are what? Few. And it doesn't mean that few in number. That few really means small in strength. Mm. Uh, 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 a lot of people lack the strength uh, to, to be a witness. You know, a lot of things clog the mind. Uh, uh, they don't want to hear that. Uh, I'm not here for that. Uh, I'm not going to be bothered with that, you know, but, but the whole purpose and the plan of the Lord is for us to be a witness in word, thought, and deed, yes. amen, and that, that witness uh, truly begins first at the household of faith, yes. you know, and then we take it out, mm -hmm. and the reason why that is is because to be a good effective witness, you have to be a disciple. Yeah. yeah, you know, and learn how to be a good disciple. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to be out there uh, giving people false information. Yeah. Then you're on the enemy side. <laughs> That's what he does. He feeds false information. And some people get false information from a lack of knowledge. So true. From a lack of knowledge. Yeah. Amen. Zeal without knowledge. Amen. So, so, so. When we, when we begin to think about my, what is your assignment, are you doing what God wants you to do? You got to think about um, you can only witness according to your own, uh, I don't want to say several ability, but according to your own knowledge. Uh, to your own knowledge. You can't go beyond. Uh, just uh, be a witness. If you just got saved yesterday, just tell them Jesus saved. Leave it like that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to the utmost. 
Huh? You follow what I'm saying? Sure. But then as you as you begin to learn and to begin to know, yeah. amen, then you can get more in depth about how he said it. Amen. amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Amen? Amen. 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 So let us look then. Let us look then at uh, St. Matthew then, chapter uh, 13. Amen. Chapter 13. And we want to ask our reader to begin re reading at uh, verse number one. It's a very familiar passage of scripture. I think that's why the Lord had me to say, kind of empty up your mind uh, so that you can receive some more stuff. Yeah. You know, that's why I ain't going to go there. But, but <laughs> I was going to say, you know, that's why you have uh, uh, bathroom breaks, you know, so that you can relieve yourself, so you can make room for more. Amen. That's true. That's right. You got to open up yourself. Yeah. Amen. Let go of some stuff. Yeah. Amen. Yes. So you can receive. Amen. <laughs> See that? And I just taught like Jesus did. He teaches with shock value. He gave you some shock value. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, my sister. Hallelujah. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. Uh -huh. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him. Yeah. So that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Now, now, anytime that you see in the scriptures about Jesus going out and uh, he begins to sit. He, he's actually sitting, waiting for the multitude. He's about to teach. He's about to open up the word. Uh, you'll see that multiple times in the scriptures. And then when Jesus said, uh, the multitude comes unto him. And then as we get, begin to read the scripture here, he kind of repositions himself. Uh, goes into a ship. Uh, and then to the on to the water, and he probably my own mind, uh, my own mind thinks that he probably went on out, got in the ship on the boat, uh, and the people sat around the uh, uh, around the shore. Uh, I believe that probably that water probably gives him a, a, a megaphone type of uh, uh, acoustics, you know what I'm saying, kind of thing, so that they can hear him, yeah. amen. Because it's important for us to hear him. Yes. Amen. Yes. I don't, Amen. Uh, a lot of things I can listen to, but I, it's most important that I hear him. Yes. Amen. Yes. He alone has the words of life. Yes. Right. Amen. He that hath an ear, let yes. him hear yes. what the Spirit is saying yes. to the yes. church. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. So read that verse again. The same day when Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. Uh-huh. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, uh -huh. so that he went into a ship. He went into and a sat, ship and sat out. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. The whole multitude stood on the shore, waiting to hear what the Lord has to say. Amen. I wish I was there. <laughs> All right, verse number three. And he spake many things unto them in parables, uh -huh. saying, "Behold, a sower went forth to sow." Read. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, mm -hmm. and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, uh -huh. and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deep deepness of earth. Mm -hmm. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and became because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Mm -hmm. But others fell on put into good ground and brought forth, forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. All right, beautiful. So we see here then that, that, that Jesus, he now moves toward teaching and his teaching now is more so in parables. In parables. And one of the reasons why a parable deals with a story that has uh, a, a spiritual meaning. Mm -hmm. and, and as we get ready to read, we're going to read more. But 
Jesus begins to teach in parables because of the crowd. Because those that are, were in the crowd weren't uh, always for him. They weren't there to support the gospel. They were there to, 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 to be agitated. They were there to cause problems. Uh, you're going to have that uh, in any crowd that you have. Yes. Not everybody is going to be there for the right motive. Amen. You're going to have some people there that are there for agitation because the enemy sent them there yeah. uh, to, to agitate. Yes. And then Jesus, uh, another reason why he begins to teach in parables is because he wants to open up the understanding of, of, of his disciples. Because his disciples will hear and increase learning and learn from the parables. They will glean from them the spiritual truths that are contained in them. But in order to do that, one heart has to be right. Yeah. Amen. One, one has to have the mindset that I want to be born again, uh, a, a believer in Christ. When one opens their mind to, to him and to him alone, they can receive a, a great amount of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Why? Because he's the light uh, that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the condition of receiving is upon the individual. Uh, I want to stress that 300%. The condition of you receiving from the Lord is upon you. Yeah. Amen. Upon your heart. Yeah. Uh, the condition of your heart. Yeah. Amen. That's why it's a heart thing. It's a heart thing. <laughs> it's, a heart thing. it's about your heart. Yeah. Amen. It's about your heart. All right. Now let's read again. Read that again uh, from verse number three. And he spake many things unto them in parables. Saying, Verse number three? Yes. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. And, and, and the reason why it's like that, and the reason why I have to see it like that, uh, that the Lord gives to me, uh, not to keep it myself, but he gives it to me to release, to put it out there. The Lord gives it to you, not to keep wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to yourself, Yes. But he gives it to you to put it out there. Yes. Amen. Yes. To give yes. to others. Yes. Amen. Yes. Go with me just here to, to, to 1 Corinthians chapter number 3. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter number 3. We're going to pray away all city spirits. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, spirit of rejuvenation. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter number three. Uh, verse, jump down in to verse number six. This is Paul. He teaches too. I have planted. Uh-huh. Paul's water. Y'all got it? Oh, yeah. All right. Now note. He said, I have planted a soul. Uh, then one comes behind and does what? Water. water. All right. Read. But God gave the increase. Who gives the increase? God. God. God is the one that gives the revelation. Amen. Amen. You put it out there. Huh? Huh? But, but it is God that gives the revelation. Amen. Amen. Through the Spirit. Yeah. Huh? Because the Holy Ghost, it teaches us. Yeah. That's why we got to be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. I don't know why I'm bending down like that one. That's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we have to be sensitive uh, to the Holy Ghost. Amen? Uh, listen, pay attention to the Holy Ghost. Because it teaches us. Amen? Read. So then neither is he that planteth anything, uh -huh. neither he that watereth, uh -huh. but God that giveth the that increase. Now, now when the word that you give out, don't get the big head, you know if people get converted and changed. Right. You're just doing your reasonable service. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Give all glory to God. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because it's his word. 
And you've been used by him. Shout on that. You've been used by God. My brother? I was going to say that was the dispute. Yeah. That they was going through with Apollos and Paul and yeah. different ones. You know, he did this. Uh -huh. The other one did that. And they was, you know, certain disciples bragging on each other. Yeah. But it was all about God. All about God. That's right. All about souls being saved. Yeah. Brought into the kingdom. Right. Yeah. Amen. Isn't that, isn't that true? Yeah. It's not about me getting a house, a car. No, right. uh, it's not about me getting healed in my body. Uh, it's about him being glorified. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, come on here, somebody. Right. Uh, he didn't have to hear, let him hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's about him being glorified, magnified. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, what verse is? All right, read. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. All right, now notice what he said. He that planteth and he that watereth are what? One. 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 Amen. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, so what verse should just read? Eight. 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 Read seven again. I'm sorry. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, uh -huh. but God that giveth the increase. Okay. Read eight. Yep. Now he that planteth. And he that waters are one. All right, they're, they, they're working in the same purpose. Uh, have the same mindset. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Now, now notice that scripture, because that's going to be powerful as we go into uh, further into this word. Uh, you're going to be rewarded according to your own labor. Amen. So everybody is not the same in labor. Right. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And if you want a great reward, huh, you've got to put out a great labor, a great work. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. I want to get up there and have only one jewel in my crown. No. <laughs> huh? When I got all that other stuff empty. Right. Huh? Right. Huh? right. Huh? I want just I want to be like that. Then I look at y'all crowd. And I see y'all got all them jewels. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now, it's good that I'm up there with right, a crown. Amen. With a crown. Uh, right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Nothing wrong with that. That's what's most important. Uh, but but it, it signified uh, that, that I didn't labor much. Right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. What's it say? What verse you in? Amen. All right, read. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. Ikabo shanda. And every man shall receive his own reward uh -huh. according to his own labor. All right, now you're going to get your own reward yeah. according to your own labor. Yeah. Amen? Yes. All right, read. But we are laborers together with God. Now that's why I came here to that verse. We are co-workers with him. Yeah. We are co-laborers with God. Yes. Uh, so when, when yes. Jesus put out there a sower went out the soul. Huh? That could be Jesus or that could be you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because you're working together. Uh, you're a co-laborer with God. Uh, God, God signed you up. <laughs> You've been bought with a price. Amen. You are not your own. Amen. Amen. You belong to God uh, to do his bidding. Amen. To carry out his will. Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now read that. What did it say? For we are laborers together with God. Uh -huh. Ye are God's husband. And that word husbandry there means you are you are God's reward. Amen. You are his vineyard. The husband man sold in the vineyard, and the fruit of the vineyard belongs to the husband man. Amen. You are the fruit that you bear from your life. Oh Jesus. The fruit that you bear from your life belongs to God. What kind of fruit are you bearing? Uh, is it the fruit that God can accept? Or is it the fruit that God will reject? Amen. Y'all with me? I go to I go to I go to top sometimes and I'm checking the fruit. Some of that fruit ain't no good. Huh? You don't want to eat some. Look good. You get it home and bite into it. You say, uh-uh. I was tricked. Got me. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Huh? But, 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 but now what God, he's the inspector. 
Huh? So what kind of fruit are you bearing? Huh? My brother? Um, when I look at that word uh, husbandry, mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking of like in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Like married with God. Mm -hmm. That's unity. Yeah, that's unity. But he's talking about bearing fruit. Yeah, he's talking about the word. Yeah. Huh? And what you're producing. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Huh? So 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 we are in a relationship with God. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And 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 we are co-laborers working with him. Amen. Huh? And and he is expecting a harvest from you. Amen. Amen. Huh? He's expecting that. Uh, he's giving you gifts. He's giving you talents. He's giving you his life, yeah. uh, his word, uh, his power, his anointing. Amen? Uh, thank you, Lord. And he's expecting something from you. Amen? He's expecting you to bring forth fruit. Amen? Uh, he's expecting that. He's looking yeah. for it. Uh, uh, I mean, he's going to check your fruit. <laughs> All right? Where we at? Where are you? End of that verse. All right. You are God's building. Uh huh. Verse ten. Yeah. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me. Oh, now, now I want to cut out of that because now you're going into being a wise master builder. Mm -hmm. uh, how you lay your foundation. Uh, you got. We might as well read that because it's important. How you lay your foundation. Amen. Oh, let me read. Read that. Read that. According to the grace of God, uh -huh. which is given unto me, yes. as a wise master builder. Now notice he's a wise master builder. You should be a wise master builder as well. B, what is that? I have laid the foundation, uh -huh. and another builder thereon. Uh -huh. Now, he's saying that I have given you Christ as an apostle. Uh, I've given you the foundation of Jesus Christ. Uh, and if somebody else come along and build on it. Uh, that's what we should do. We should, we, we should receive this word and we should then build upon the word that we have received. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Read. But let every man take heed how he build it uh -huh. thereupon. So take heed how you build it, how you work it. All right, read. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, uh -huh. which is Jesus Christ. Now, you cannot add or, 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 or put in some other uh, false doctrine or teaching and expect that to stand. Right. Amen? You can't build on another foundation and right. expect God to honor that. Right. You can't co-mingle uh, uh, the word of God and some other type of teaching and doctrine right. and expect it to be whole. Amen? Amen? Amen. Expect God to, to, to honor it. Amen. Amen? It won't stand. Right. Am I right? Amen. So let's go back. Let's go back. I want to I want cross train you. <laughs> let's go back. Thank you, Lord. So out of that, what we just read, we read then talking about a laborer, what we sow. We should all sow the word of God. Amen? And, and we are all co-laborers with God. The only thing that we should be sowing is the Word of God. Amen? If you don't know the Word of God, then you're not sowing the right thing. Amen? In order to sow the Word of God, you got to know the Word of God. Amen? And not just by the letter. got to know it by the Spirit. Amen? Because I've been in some uh, educational uh, 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 classes wherein uh, the individual was talking about the Word but really didn't know the word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and because they were just coming in from it from a, 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 a cerebral point of view, uh, then because they didn't have the spirit of God, uh, the fanua, the Holy Ghost, uh, they were unable to tap into the correct connection to the word of God. Amen. It's the spirit that quickened it. Uh, and the flesh profited nothing. Amen? Uh, I don't just read God's word for information. Uh, I read it for life. 
Huh? Hallelujah. Now, read it for power. Read it for deliverance. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. All right. All right. So let's go back over there. Where did we leave off at? Verse 10. Uh, verse number 10. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. I mean in Matthew. I'm sorry. In, in Matthew, Matthew chapter 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, oh, no, I'm going to go back over it now. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Going to the fourth verse? Yeah, let's go to verse 4. Oh, all right. Thank you. Y'all got to help me uh, so I can give more information. What chapter? <laughs> and when he oh, sold. So, hold on. Chapter 13, Matthew chapter 13, verse number 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, go ahead, read it. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, uh -huh. and the fowls came and devoured them up. Yes. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. Mm -hmm. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. All right, read. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. All right, now, there are four, and then he says, who have ears to hear, let him what? Let him hear. hear. So there are literally four responses, four responses to the word of God. Amen. All of these four uh, individuals uh, uh, had their heart exposed to God's word. Amen? Uh, like even tonight, we're being exposed to the word of God. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and how, how I respond or how you respond depends on the condition of your heart. Amen? The condition of your heart. Now notice, the first one, he said, uh, uh, the, seer, the sower went out to sow, uh, and verse number four, and when they have sowed seeds, some fell by what? The wayside. The wayside. Amen? The wayside. And the fowls of the air uh, came and did what? Devoured. Devour. Now, that which fell by the wayside, you gotta think about with Jesus. Jesus, in his time, they had uh, uh, fields. They didn't have streets with fences and all this other stuff. So, so they had to cut across the field and they made a pathway. And normally people walked on that pathway uh, and, and, and which created a hard surface. Right? So when the sower went out uh, and sowed seed, the, the seed fell on that hard surface, and uh, the, because the surface was hard, it didn't receive the word. The ground did not receive the word. Huh? You follow me? And then, because the ground did not receive it, it said the birds came uh, and did what? Devouring it up. Now, people that are, are, are wayside uh, are those that uh, are exposed to the word of God, but you see no change. There's no change. They can sit under the word for months, sit under the word for years. You don't see any kind of involvement with the word. No change. They hear a dynamic sermon, a dynamic teaching, and it's like they haven't heard anything. Literally, they haven't. They haven't heard nothing. Uh, because the word isn't penetrating the heart. And if the word doesn't change you, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Change you, you'll remain the same. So those that are by the wayside are unregenerated, unsaved. Uh, and they, they've been exposed to the word, but there's no change in their life because they haven't received. Yeah. They haven't received the word. 
We don't want to be like that. We want to receive the word. I want to have, uh, I want to have a spiritual response to the word of God. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I, and then what it is, he says, then, then that which is so put down there, because their heart is hardened, the devil comes. That's what the birds is. The devil comes and take away that which they seemingly would have. Uh, because they didn't allow the word to go in. Uh, takes it away. Uh, that which they would seemingly have. They're distracted. Disinterested. Uh, no, no fire. No love. They just, they just uh, are coming to church. Uh, there's a word that I want. I can't think of that word. Uh, uh, when, you're, when, you're, when your body is here, yeah, but your mind is not. Uh, yep, definitely preoccupied. Uh, but there's another word that I'm not, I can't. Uh, apostate. Ooh, you going there. Uh, that's it. Thank you, Lord. Apostate mind. That's a mind that God has to reject. Uh, because they don't, they don't receive God's word. They don't receive correction. They don't receive instruction. Uh, you're talking about a reprobate mind now. Reprobate. Wow, there's a lot of mindsets out there. Uh, <laughs> reprobate mind. Uh, thank you, Lord. And we don't want to be like that. Amen. You want to be open. Uh, receive instruction. Receive correction. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. So the Bible tells us that, 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 that God's word is profitable uh, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man or woman of God may be thoroughly furnished uh, uh, and built up uh, in the word of God. Thank you, Lord. So you don't want, uh, uh, think about it. Now, now, now I'm here now for a minute. Think about it. Do you know anybody in the church, and you ain't judging, that, that, can, that, 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 that has sat under the word of God and that word has not uh, uh, changed their life? Yeah. Hey. Huh? No, I don't put no names on it. <laughs> don't put no names on it. But you, oh, okay, good. But you, you, you've seen, seen people. It, yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh? You've seen people like that. Amen. We don't want to be like that. Huh? Uh, sit under the word and don't, and uh, are unaffected, uh, unchanged. Huh? Huh? My God. That's a problem. Am I right? No joy. No happiness. No peace. Amen. Nothing. Just just dead as a doornail. Huh? And just come as as I'm here and I, I don't I, I I'm just here. Preaching going on, anointing falling. Wow. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Let the church say amen. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, wow. nothing. Huh? That's a problem. I mean, that's wayside. Because why? Because the word is not penetrating. My brother? Well, scripture tells us that we have people who are have a seared conscience. Yeah, that's a problem too. Elmo said, no, ain't nothing wrong with me. Yeah. This is the hidden sign. said, ain't nothing wrong with me. My goodness. Go over to the first Peter chapter number one. Now y'all keep Matthew because we're still working on it. First Peter chapter number one and verse 23. The seed is the word of God. Being born again. Not of, not of corruptible seed. Now, now, this word is incorruptible. And notice what he says. Born again. What causes you to be born again? Incorruptible. No. What causes you to be born? Corruptible seed. Spirit of God. No, I'm just, my mind is going. Thank you. Read that verse again. Uh, what was the verse? Let me just read the whole verse. Let's do it. Verse 6. 
23. 23, I'm sorry. Being born again. Being born again. Not of corruptible seed. Not of corruptible seed. But of incorruptible. Incorruptible seed. So now I ask the question, what causes you to be born again? The word of God. The word of God, which is the seed of God. Amen? Which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Huh? All right? So if you don't receive the gospel, you cannot be born again. Amen? If you don't receive the seed, the word, you cannot be born again. So you become an incorruptible person. Yeah, you, well, I'm going to put it this way. I said, I said, let me change it. You'll stay a corruptible person. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me? So, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying that so you can see the importance of the gospel. Yes. So when you're sowing seed, give them the gospel. Yes. Uh, don't just give them your opinion. Yes. Uh, give them the gospel. Yes. That your opinion is corruptible. Yes. Uh, give them the incorruptible, which is the word of God. Yes. Amen? Yes. Be born again. Water and spirit. Yes. Uh, uh, believe on Jesus. Yes. Uh, amen? He died for you. He gave his life for you. My brother, who said that? Go ahead. No, I, I was thinking about when you said seed fell by the wayside. That reminded me of the lady that was sitting over there, and when praise and worship was going on, she kept walking back and forth. Yeah, distracted. Yeah. So uh, Deacon Fields had told me after the service was over, she came to him and said, uh, "Well, while service was going on, because she was already gone, she said she didn't feel no anointing in there." Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she didn't. Mm. You know what I mean? She didn't receive. She, she didn't, didn't receive. receive. That was right. You know, yeah. how you going to feel if you're not willing to. <laughs> Got to be open. Right. <laughs> Got to be receptive. Oh, huh? If you're not open and receptive to the word, there'll be no change. Right. Amen? Sure. The reason why you're here today is because the word has penetrated your heart. Right. Huh? Any man be in Christ, he's a what? Mm. New creature. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me? Amen. All right, and just go with me over here again to uh, uh, Colossians. Colossians 1, verses 5 and 6. Hallelujah! Let me get with you. What chapter is this? Uh, chapter number 1. Verses, verses 5 and 6. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Now, now, your hope is laid up for you in heaven, which you have what? Heard. Heard, heard from the what? The word. the word of the truth of what? The gospel. That's how important it is. Amen? Amen. If I were to really get deep in there, I don't really want to go that way. But 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 the, the gospel message is really God's message of judgment. Amen? It's a message of judgment. Wherein he's given people, he's concluded all under sin. Huh? He's judged that. Amen? And then it's his judgment to release, to forgive. Uh, those that will take the opportunity to repent uh, and turn unto him. Yeah. Amen? And then that message, the gospel message, is his, really his clarion call uh, to those that are dead in trespasses and sin. It, it's the power of God to be like Lazarus. Come forth! Uh, if, you, if you are like Lazarus, and hear the voice of Jesus through the gospel, you will come forth. Amen. 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 That's, that's, that's the power of the gospel. Huh? It, it awakens you. Yes. Huh? It gives you life. Yes. And it gives you strength to come forth. Yes. And while you're coming forth, you're in your grave clothes, and you need somebody. Uh, to put you down in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To loose you. Uh, oh, to let you go. Yeah. Amen. Man. 
huh? is powerful. Thank you, Lord. It's a clarion call. It's God's judgment. Amen. And it's the power of God unto salvation. That's why Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's the only thing that can save. It's the only thing that can set people free. It's the only thing that can take you from darkness to light. Hallelujah. From the power of God. Yeah. From the power of Satan unto God. Thank you, Lord. Huh? The only Thank thing. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Thank Am you, Lord. I right? Yes, yeah, right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Read that again. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, uh -huh. whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Uh -huh. What verse is that? Five. All right, read which has come unto you uh -huh. as it is in all the world. Now, that gospel has come unto you. Somebody has sown a seed into your heart and you believe the gospel. Uh, and you changed and got saved. You believe yeah. Yeah. Uh, Now, you may, you may have been hard-hearted at first. You may have been some wayside because I know when I first heard it, I ain't just saying it. Uh, uh, come on! Amen. When I first heard it, I said, what is that to me? I wasn't done sinning. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, but I kept hearing. Yes. Uh, I kept hearing. Yeah. Uh, and, and the Holy Ghost, uh, even though I was a sinner, was breaking up the fallow ground. Yes, sickness of testing, sickness of trial. Yes. Uh, working on me, working on me, working on me. Quit. I got a calling on your life. I'm working on you. I'm working on you. We keep hearing that word. And one day, that word. Broke through. Wow. Amen. Yes, Lord. And I said, what must I do to be saved? <laughs> I said, I believe that Jesus died. Yeah. I believe that he rose again. And he got up with all power. Yeah. I surrender. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Huh? But now what happened? What changed? All that test, all that trial, all that hell, all that fertilizer, huh? all that stuff I went through. Yes. Broke up my mind. Right. Broke up the foul of ground. Yeah. Uh, so that the word can go in there. Right. And start to ger germinate. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. I don't know about y'all. But y'all can probably say this to yourself. You probably even before you came to Christ. Was thinking about Jesus. Man I know there's something better out there. Mm -hmm. And I know there's something better out there. Lord help me. Yes. Uh, Lord I'm tired of what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, that's the Holy Ghost working on you wow. uh, to bring you to Jesus. Uh, all of these. Then one day, uh, the yoke broke. Uh, you came to him. Uh, got born again. The water broke. <laughs> you, you were born. Uh, Come on here, somebody. Uh, you got pricked in your heart. Uh, all of these. Somebody have a hand up. All right, we good? I go to the next point. All right. All right, read, finish reading that six. Which has come unto you. It's come unto you. As it is in all the world. And all the world. And bring it forth fruit. Uh -huh. Now notice, see that? Laborers. When you receive the gospel, you are to bring forth fruit. Yeah. Amen? Do we believe that? Yeah. Hallelujah. Fruit. Huh? Fruit. God is looking for fruit. Yes. Jesus says, I am the vine. My father is the half husband man. Yes. What did he say? Every branch in me. In me not. Bear, bring, oh, we, we better go there. <laughs> Come on. Where we at? Where we at? No, hold up. Uh, what is it? Uh, St. John chapter 15. Thank you, Lord. We got we to know it. We got to bring some fruit. I should, I should see some fruit on your life. I should see some love, joy, yes. patience, yes. brotherly kindness. I should see some long suffering. Amen? When you get into trouble, I shouldn't see you just throwing in the towel. Huh? Thank you. Now see, ooh, see, those that fall by the wayside, they, they blame God for everything. Wow. Huh? They blame him. Uh, see, if there was a good gift, God was good, he wouldn't allow this to happen to me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
not knowing that, that, that the goodness of the Lord, the long suffering of God, is salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Wow. Uh, not understanding him. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. That, that, that it was good for us to be afflicted. Yeah. Uh, that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Oh, yeah. uh, but the Lord, oh, yeah. he deliver us out of them all. Uh, hallelujah. It was good for us to go through. It was good for people to turn their back on me. It was good for me to go through hell and hell. Because I know that the God, that the God is a deliverer. Huh? Yes, Lord. Job didn't charge God foolishly. No. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Give him a deeper resolve. In this flesh, I'm going to see you. Yeah. Uh, Lord, I know this is you. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> then when he got beside himself at one time, because the pressure got real hard on him, he said, I spoke once, but I ain't going to speak again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. God caught him, caught him by the ear and said, where are you, Job? Yeah. Where were you? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't get heavy like that. Yeah. I mean, God got to take us money. Where were you, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Huh? Got to come to yourself. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Be cut out my son now. Tell somebody, come to yourself. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. Trust your God. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Came to himself. Yeah, came back. <laughs> huh? Thank you, Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all know, y'all know Paul. Well, I know y'all don't know Paul. <laughs> you know, when you read the scriptures, it's come like you know. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Uh, thank you, Lord. Y'all know Paul. Thank you, Lord. Paul, Paul, Paul received great revelation uh, from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, because he received great revelation, he was sent an angel or a messenger from Satan to buffet him. Yeah. You would think, well, why God? Why God? So that Paul, he wouldn't get elevated. He wouldn't get up, uh, uh, puffed up. Yeah. Uh, because if you read Paul's writing, he could be arrogant sometimes. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? If some of us can be arrogant sometimes. Huh? Huh? So God will send us a messenger. Huh? 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 To, to, to get us where we need to be. To humble us. Huh? Thank you. And we've already taught. You gotta, if you want anything from God, you've got to be humble. Huh? And then when Paul sought the Lord three times, the Lord said what? My grace, my grace is what? Sufficient. sufficient. So I, I'm, I've given you, not only did I allow the messenger from Satan to come and buff you, but I've given you grace to endure it, yeah. to overcome it, yeah. so it doesn't deter from your assignment. Yeah. Now come on here. Now that's proud. Yeah. Now, though, though that test and trial is coming, I've given you grace. Yeah. And so when it comes, it isn't strong enough to deter you. You can keep focused. <laughs> you can do what you need to do with the struggle, yeah. with the pain. Yeah. Pick up your cross. <laughs> follow him. Though you slay me, yeah. yet will I trust you. Notice Paul's attitude. Uh, yeah. that kind of Notice his attitude. He said, therefore, most gladly, huh, will I glorify God in my infirmity, because when I am weak, uh, when I am weak, Just but for a moment, yeah. it's working for 
pour out. Tell somebody it's working for me.
to fight the good fight. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Yes, Lord. I have run the race. Yeah. I'm ready. Ready. Hallelujah. 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 There's no temptation that is taking you such as common to man. But your God is what? Faithful. That's what he said. Huh? That won't yeah. suffer you to be tempted above that which you are. Uh, but with that temptation, yeah. he'll make a way. Yeah. He'll make a way of escape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, just take the exit. Just take the exit. Uh, just take the exit. Hallelujah. You don't have to keep going around in circles. Just take the exit. just given you, he gave you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, shut down. Hallelujah. 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 Only God can do that. Hallelujah. See, if I was giving out, I'd say, well, let me give him a little bit here, a little bit there. I don't know how much he's going to need. Now, but God knows how much you need. Hey, hallelujah. And then he gives you some extra. Yeah. Because he's an abundant God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 You better hold the music. <laughs> because where sin abounded, grace did what? More abound. Now look at that. Think about that. Yes. Huh? Where sin came in, grace overtook it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> right. huh? That's no power over you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just give me one more praise. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. We, we was all dead men. Walking. All dead. <laughs> no life in us at all. None. Yeah. Huh? None. On our way to hell. None. Yep. From there to the what? <laughs> but Jesus. Jesus. But Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Came and rescued, rescued us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What started this fire? What started this fire? 
us talking about the gospel. Yeah. Us talking about Jesus. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. How? Now, he just demonstrated his power. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. He ain't done with you yet. He ain't done with you yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He come out Sunday in my Hallelujah. I was in a Jesus. Hallelujah. He got done. He that began a good work in you. Uh, he's performing it right now. Hallelujah. He's giving you strength right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Demonstrating his power. He's demonstrating his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are unstoppable. Hallelujah. The enemy can't do nothing with you. Now, no man can sit upon you. Now, he's giving you everything you need to have you take your foot upon. Hallelujah. You lay it for the king. Hallelujah. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Keep your eye on Jesus. The author, the finisher of your faith. Corey, get up there on that organ. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power. There's an anointing in you. Hallelujah. 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 I was in a Bible study. And uh, Reverend Green, he passed on uh, from Second Baptist. He was teaching me. And uh, he began to read uh, out of the Old Testament, talking about the dead, the, the, the dead man, no. Bones, dry, dry bones, yeah, yeah, he read, <laughs> it was he read, and he was talking about preaching the gospel, then he said, let me demonstrate it, he closed that book and got, just went on, woo, started preaching about Jesus, hallelujah, and, and, and dead man getting up, huh? and he said, what got you up was that gospel uh, of Jesus Christ, oh, Oh, the anointing just fell. Yeah. I'll never forget yeah. oh, that. Hallelujah. He'll demonstrate his power. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He'll demonstrate his power. He just demonstrated his power. Yeah. Amen. Oh, the Lord. Now think of the goodness yeah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. My God, I don't want to mess nothing up. I'm going to leave right here. Hallelujah. Right. Right. <laughs> this thing is real. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. KK, ain't this thing real? Yeah. yeah. Real. Real. Jesus, I don't even know what I remember what we were talking about. <laughs> what was we talking about? <laughs> oh, bearing fruit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Okay, read, read, read from the beginning. I am the true vine. Jesus said, I'm the true vine. And my father is the husband. And my father is the husband. And that's where we get that, uh, we talk about the husband tree. It connects. Uh, my father is the husband man. Every branch in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just give the Lord a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's bringing us out. Oh!
Be tempted with evil, yeah. uh, but you're gonna be tempted of your own lust. 
Because yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's what the problem is. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Thank you, Lord. Your own evil desire. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Uh, but if you stick with him, you'll bring forth fruit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't give in to it. Yes. Amen. When are, when are you not being tested? When you give in to it. Huh? As long as you're being tested, you good. Yes. Huh? Amen. Just don't give in to it. Amen. Huh? And, and if you don't give in to it, he said, he'll flee. Resist the devil. Yes. Steadfast. And he'll what? Flee. flee. Resist him. You ain't got to do it. Right. You ain't got to say it. You ain't got to go there. Yeah. You ain't got to watch it. Right. Huh? Yeah. Stop. Just Amen. stop. Don't yield your members Amen. to do things that are unrighteous. Just yeah. stop. Amen. 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 You got power. Yeah. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Jesus. Mm. <laughs> That's why I got power. I got power. I got power. I got power. Holy Ghost. Somebody said Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hey! Power to live right. Power to talk right. Amen. Hallelujah. By God. By God. All right. Go ahead, y'all. I'm sorry. You patiently wait on me. I appreciate you. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Uh -huh. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now see that? He, if you already produce it, right? You're bearing fruit. Amen. He that began a good work in you, uh, he's going to complete it. Yeah. And the reason why you're going through a, a, a purging process so that you can bear what? More. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> wow. I'm going to get deep on you. God's not satisfied with the fruit you already have. Mm -hmm. He wants you to bear more. more. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord. Don't be satisfied with what you have. Yeah. 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 Huh? That's he wants you to bear more. That's good. See, that's deep right like there. He that hath an ear. <laughs> uh, uh, don't think you arrived. I made it. Right, right. No, no, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great opposition. That come on. My brother. That's it. That's because it. there's a lot of nice people in the world. Right. There's a lot of people that have form a form of godliness. Yeah. But they deny the power. Yeah. And so God wants us to bear that righteous fruit. Righteous fruit. More Hallelujah. and more <laughs> and more. Yeah. Now we down with them in a Bible study. Let me just go down here to let's go back over to Matthew chapter 13. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 13, because I want to show you. I want you to drink for more. Let's stop at verse 10. Yep, but drop down, go to verse 8. Yep. But other fell into good ground. Now, see, now, that's what happened to us tonight. He fell on us good ground. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Read what it says. And brought forth fruit. And brought forth what? Fruit. Fruit. Brought forth fruit. Read. Some a hundredfold. Uh huh. Some sixtyfold. Yes. Some thirtyfold. Yes. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Some sixty, some thirty, and some what? A hundred. Some thick sixty, thirty, sixty, and a hundred. Fell on good ground. That seed fell on good ground. I used to think that this verse here was always good. But it's not always good. Right. The people that produce 30%. Huh? Yep. They only, they only, uh, uh, they got satisfied with their 30. 
There were some men that went a little bit further and got 60. And they were satisfied with their 60. God ain't going to be satisfied until you get 100. Amen. Amen. Wow. Mm. I'm going to be satisfied. Amen. Go get the 100. Go get the 100. Lord, I'm running. <laughs> Trying to make a 100. 99 and a half won't do. What are you saying? 99 and a half won't do. Won't do. <laughs> uh, so, so where are you at in the game? I asked you what were you doing earlier. Where are you at? You only at a 30% and holding? Are you at 60% and holding? Or are you going all the way to 100? Wow. And then that's why he said, read that next verse. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. That's why he said what he said when he said that. Because he know that, yeah, that everybody ain't going to receive that. Some people just satisfied with one crown, one jewel in their crown. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Oh, no. I, wasn't. I thought you had your hand. <laughs> I did, but I forgot. Oh, okay. That was the Lord. I was just kidding. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm oh, okay. Lord. That's the Lord. Um, so, so God, all, so then He, he always wants us married. Right? right, always. All, yeah. And then, not everybody's equal. That that parable right there, thirty, sixteen hundred. Not everybody's equal. That's right. Huh? That's right. We don't get to be a hundred percent. Well, He'll impute some righteousness to you. Right. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. Go for it. Yeah. He, all, he always wants you to keep moving, yeah. keep striving. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Because because um, um, wow. fruit is meant to be eaten. Mm. Right? By others. Mm. You give it out, you give it out, you're gonna get depleted. <laughs> you gotta renew. Yes. You gotta revive. Yes. Amen. Amen. So is that what he meant by walking over that high? Yeah, whoa. Oh. Right, they got ease. And something just came to me, Bishop, when you said, he said, he will finish the work. Yeah, he'll complete it. Until, until the day he comes. So right. It's when we stop allowing him to do the work. Yeah. It's when we stop bearing fruit. Right. And he don't want you to stop laboring in his kingdom. He right. wants you to be a witness. Mm -hmm. He wants you to tell others about Jesus. Paul never stopped. Even though he was in jail, they wrote letters. Wow. Huh? That's what he uh, said. Yeah. I'm bound with the word. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. When, when do you stop being a witness? Yeah. Never. Huh? Never. Even on your deathbed, you're a witness. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll never forget, uh, uh, it was Mother Beast. Mm -hmm. uh, I went up there to pray for her. She was on her deathbed. And she said, no, son, don't pray for me. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Just being a witness. Mm -hmm. uh, being a witness. Ready to go with Jesus. Wow. Amen. That's the witness. Mm -hmm. uh, so when my time comes, I'm going to say, don't pray for me, y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But you can't let your heart be hard. People that, got, that, that reject the word, stop bearing fruit. And then the fruit that they have spoils, mm. gets rotten. Wow. He that hath, uh, and and he that uh, seemeth to have, that which they have will be taken away. Yes. Yes. You with me? Yes. Uh, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna trip on you. Uh, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow. That's right. I'm gonna allow the grace of God to help me. That's right. Huh? So I don't have no grudges against you. No. Huh? I'm not, I'm not going to allow the enemy to talk to my mind. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Got to love everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. Huh? That's right. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. How do you know that you pass from darkness to light? Yeah. Huh? From the way you love the brother. Yeah. Amen. 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 This thing is real. It's tight. Yeah. 
But it's right. All right. All right. Can you, turn, you got to turn. Monique, can you turn that off? All right. Come on. Give God a praise.